Oh, thank you so much, Akiko. In terms of CITES listed tree species, we, we have identified that the region is home to around 100 um, endangered species of trees, which are vulnerable in terms of international trade. These are species of rosebuds of the genus Dalbergia, species of the genus Taxus, which is commonly known as yew, yew trees and uh, also species of the genus Aquilaria, which is commonly known as arrowwood. The conservation status of these species ranges from vulnerable to endangered, and rosewoods are the most endangered species in terms of uh, habitat loss and international trade. CITES has as a mandate to ensure that the international trade does not pose a, a threat to the survival of wild species. In this sense, as our mandate is so specific, we focus on ensuring that the trade is sustainable, that it is legal, and that it is traceable. So in, in ensuring that we comply with these three pillars of sustainability, legality, and traceability, that is the main entry point for the convention to ensure the conservation of these species. In terms of sustainability, CITES has a core requirement that is called a non-detriment finding, which means that before any export or even harvest takes place that is intended for international trade, a scientific authority has confirmed and has made an assessment that a given amount of, of harvest will not pose a threat um, to the long-term survival of the species. That is the, the, the core requirement in terms of sustainability. In terms of legality, we have a mechanism that is known as a legal acquisition finding, which is the equivalent to the NDF, but in terms of more administrative processes and legal aspects of what is the origin of the timber that is intended for international trade. And of course, this aspect of, of legality is closely linked to traceability. And one of the ways that CITES addresses traceability is through permit management. And one of the avenues to improve permit management is autom automating the permits through electronic systems. So that is one of the lines that we are exploring also under this project. And in terms of general compliance. We are also talking about enforcement and mostly uh, CITES is focused in improving the capacities at a national level to ensure that the cross-border trade is, is done in compliance with CITES requirements. And this can go from a simple um, ver verification that all the permits have been issues, issued in accordance with CITES requirements and also it could have implications regarding illegal trade and, and follow-up of, of any processes related to, to trade that has been identified as illegal.